Good day. Let's talk about interest. These are the basic concepts. When we are talking about simple interest, that is calculated only on the original principal amount and is paid at the end of the loan period. Interest is the fee for or rent that lenders charge to borrowers for the temporary use of the borrowed money. The formula that we will use is I is equal to P times R times T, wherein I means interest, which is the amount paid for the use of money. P is the principal, which is the amount borrowed, lent, or invested. R, which is the rate, that is the percent of interest being charged. Usually, it is written in percentage, but we need to convert it into decimal. T stands for time, which is the number of per uh, periods for which the money will be borrowed, lent, or invested. We can use the triangle formula, which is I is equal to P times R times T. Wherein, if I is unknown, we have to use P times R times T, while if, if the principal amount is missing, then we have I over R times T. If R is missing, which we have I over P times T, and if the time is missing, we have T is equal to I over P times R. For the future or maturity value, we will use this formula. We have F is equal to principal amount or P times the sum of 1 and rate times time. F stands for the maturity value of the loan or investment. Okay, example number one. What amount of interest will be charged on 7,300 pesos borrowed for three years at a simple interest rate of 12% per annum? To answer this problem, first, we have to identify the given. So, we have the given principal amount, which is 7,300 pesos. Another one is the rate, which is R is equal to 12%, and convert it into decimal and it will become 0 0.12. Next is the time, which is three years. And we have to identify the amount of interest. So I is unknown. And to solve for this problem, we have to use I is equal to P times R times T. And all you have to do is just substitute all the given to this formula. So we have 7,300 times 0 0.12, which is the rate, times 3, which is the time. So using your calculator, and you will get the interest as 2,000. 628 pesos. So what will be the conclusion? The conclusion will be the uh, the principal will earn an interest of 2628 pesos. Example number 2. If a 9 month term deposit at a bank has a simple interest rate of 9% per annum, how much will have to be deposited to earn 225 pesos of interest? So to answer this problem, we have to identify all the given. So what are the given? First, we have the given interest, which is 225. So I is given, 
which is 225 pesos. Another one is the rate, which is R is equal to 9%, and convert it into decimal, we have 0 0.09. Another one is the time. Okay, time is 9 months. Okay. We have to convert this into year. Therefore, in one year, we have 12 months. So, it means we have 9 over 12 years. Or in decimal, that is 0 0.75 years. Alright? So, in this problem, the missing is the principal amount. So, P is unknown. Okay? So, if we will use the formula... I is equal to P times R times T. And as you can see, the missing here is the principal amount. Therefore, we need to manipulate this formula. So, to find P, we will use I divided by rate times the time. And then, substitute all the given to this formula. So, I is 225 over R is 0 0.09 and it will be multiplied by the time which is 0 0.75 years. Use your calculator to solve this and we have 3,333 pesos and 33 centavos. So, that will be the principal amount. So, what will be the conclusion? 3,333 pesos and 33 centavos must be placed in the 9-month term deposit to earn 225 pesos of interest. Example number 3. Glennis makes an investment by lending 24,000 pesos to DESA for two years at an interest rate of 11% per annum. What is the maturity value of the investment? Alright, so obviously this problem is the future or maturity value. Alright, so of course, the first step is always write or identify the given. So, what are the given? Okay. So, we have um, the principal amount which is 24,000. So, P is 24,000 pesos. We have the rate which is 11% and convert it into decimal, we have 0 0.11. Next is the time, which is 2 years. So, T is equal to 2. Okay. And of course, um, the unknown here is the maturity value. Therefore, F is missing or F is unknown. So, in this case, we have to use the formula for finding the maturity value, which is F is equal to P times 1 plus R times time. Okay. So, all you have to do is just substitute all the given to this formula. So, we have 24,000 pesos times 1 plus the rate is 0 0.11. So, 0 0.11 times the time is 2 years. Okay. So, use GEMDAS to solve this expression. So, we have 24,000 pesos times, so 0 0.11 times 2 plus 1, that is 1.22. Then multiply it by 24,000 and you will get 
29,280 pesos. So, that is the maturity value. So, what will be the conclusion? The conclusion is Desa should pay Glennis 29,280 pesos. I hope it's clear.